Arcturus has made some huge changes in their new airsoft gun line, but is it actually good? What's going on you guys? My name is Cisco and today we're gonna to be taking a look at the new Arcturus cat rifle. Really? Cat? That's the best? That's, what? That's the best that you can come with Arcturus? Uh, I get it, it's, it's an acronym. It stands for Combat Artisan Rifle. Wait, wait, that's supposed car. Hold on real quick. Ah, CAT actually stands for Combat Artisan Tactical. Again, Arcturus, really? That the best, that's the best thing you can come with? Huh? Anyways, a part of the new CAT line from Arcturus, there are quite a few different models. They do have polymer versions and metal versions. Today we are going to be taking a look at the 10 inch Legend version, which is the full metal receiver design. So let's take a deeper dive. The entire series of CAT M4s from Arcturus is actually a collaboration between Arcturus and a Japanese airsoft brand called Spark. Spark basically went to Arcturus and said, hey, we want to make the ultimate mechanical airsoft gun, whatever that means. And Arcturus pretty much said, okay, and they built it. So whatever ultimate mechanical airsoft system means, we're gonna find out today. Now, the keyword of today's video is going to be modular. Arcturus wanted to make the cat line as modular as possible, and we're gonna find out if it's too modular. Well, anyways, getting into the externals of the gun, we do have a full metal receiver, which is very nice, but there are quite a few holes in it. As you can obviously see, this Jack Skellington looking, uh, Lancer Tactical Pro Line having, uh, you know, I don't know how I feel about it, honestly. It's there, you know, I don't know if it really adds to the gun in my opinion. I mean, yes, weight reduction, cool. You save about three grams. I don't know if that's exactly the amount of weight you save, but it's there. Uh, feel how you will about it. Moving on to the front of the gun, we do have the 10 inch cat rail, which is m lock because modular, but they didn't stop at giving you the three, six, and nine positions. They give it on top as well to, uh, again, I guess, lighten the weight a little bit but you can actually mount uh, M-Lock Direct like pressure switches and stuff up here. So if you wanted to do that route, it won't be raised up. So it'll help clear the optic as well, which is very nice. You do have the 10 inch metal outer barrel, which is 14 millimeter counterclockwise threading. So you can mount whatever flash hider, muzzle brake, suppressor, mock suppressor, tracer unit that you want to it. So very nice. Moving on to the end, this is where it gets more modular. Oh man. There, there's a lot to break down here. Uh, I'm gonna need a minute to check my notes. Just give me one second. Thank you guys. Now, this is Arcturus's pride and joy. Okay, this is where you get the most modularity out of the gun. Because instead of going for a traditional buffer tube system, they put a Picatinny rail mount there to attach the buffer tube. Why? Because modular. You know, it's, it's there, okay, I get it. You can actually change the position of the buffer tube to give yourself a drop stock, which is how it is right now, or you can perfectly line it up however you want. And the stock actually folds because modular. I mean, it does help with storage as well. And if you plan on running it like this, don't. Just don't, okay? I'll be looking for you. But you can actually just Fold that back right there, have the six position stock that you want and it'll be perfectly fine. Now, moving on to the stock itself. This is the most modular part because uh, this can be changed in different ways. As you can see right here in its configuration out of the box, you do get a full sized uh, stock, which is still very minimalist. It looks really good. Um, and it gives you the full uh, shoulder support there, but they actually include a smaller piece right there. Come on, come on, there you go. There it is right there that you can change that out to right there now on the stock itself there is a picatinny mount there so if you wanted to remove that completely and put on a flashlight or a laser or a vertical grip or a grenade launcher and shoot yourself in the shoulder because if you do that I'm... anyways this is completely changeable so you can actually swap these out make it a little bit shorter if you want to or you could flip it around to give yourself the curvature as our tourists told me themselves you could do that so you have the curvature in your shoulder to work with the drop stock and if i see you like that i'm going to remove it from you i'm going to take it off of your gun and i'm going to put a full wooden m16 stock because you don't deserve it at that point i'm sorry i'm getting too emotional i'm sorry i apologize but uh you can change this out they even include a thicker boy right here like that that actually increases your battery space so if you can see right here there is a huge channel in there that you can actually attach to the stock and it actually gives you so much more battery space and honestly i like that design as well it doesn't look too bad pretty clean or i'm not trying to give you guys bad ideas but you can remove the attachment here and just leave it exposed for the most cursed pistol brace in airsoft just 
you know, the more you look at it, the more you realize how much Picatinny space is on there and it's just opening the realm for cursed stocks. You know, Arcturus, I get it. It's modular. I think this is too modular though. I forgot to mention on the stock, you do get two QD sling points on there because uh, who cares? You know what you know what the sling points do. Moving on to the pistol grip, it's actually surprisingly not modular because Arcturus normally gives you a modular pistol grip, which is very strange. But Arcturus told me to tell you, don't change this pistol grip because the way that the gearbox is designed, the motor needs to sit in a very specific position. And if you try to change it with an aftermarket one, you're screwed. So don't do it, okay? You try to call Arcturus, they're gonna tell you you're screwed also. Other external features of the Cat M4 are going to be the very familiar, but clean polymer flip up sights. Again, looks very clean, very low profile. I like that. You do have the flat skeletonized trigger, which does look clean as well. The enhanced trigger guard and standard controls. Arcturus, you already make ambidextrous controls for your M4, why? You, at that point, you might as well just go full modular, okay? Give us a full modular trigger selector, uh, magazine release. Just give, just make it so modular that you don't even need the base gun. Internally is where the Cat M4 gets very interessante. So let's take a deeper look. ICS, Sistema, is that you? You've been working out, dieting? You look good. No, this is actually our Arcturus' split gearbox design that comes out of the box in the Cat M4. Why did they go for a split gearbox design? Modular. In all seriousness, if you've ever worked on a version two gearbox, you know how much of a pain in the butt it can be. And with this, it cuts it in half. You can work on the compression set separately from the gear train, which is very nice. Now getting into the guts of the gearbox, in the upper half, you do get a quick chain spring system and Arcturus' legendary, damn near perfect compression set. It is so damn good. It, it's fantastic out of the box, but you also get a polymer piston with a full metal rack, which is very good. Getting into the lower half of the gearbox, you get Arcturus's famous micro switch trigger with an inline MOSFET. That paired with the high quality 18 one gear set and the 24K motor provide a fantastic trigger response and rate of fire. Getting into the hop-up and barrel assembly, you do get a rotary cell hop-up unit and Arcturus's 6.02 type or inner barrel to provide maximum accuracy out of the box. Arcturus does give you a braided cover for the wiring to help protect it so you don't accidentally create a short in closing your stock. Now, the real, real reason why Arcturus went with a split gearbox design is because you can actually adjust the sector gear for mechanical pre-cocking. Now, if you don't know what pre-cocking is, this pulls the piston back slightly to create less distance for the piston to travel when firing, which in turns increases your trigger response. So this is actually very easy to do. You take the mock bullet out of the box. This is actually not just a gimmick, this is a tool. You undo the mock bullet, right? like that and it is it exposes the tool that you can actually just go in and adjust the cam that's on the sector gear. Uh, you could do this on the field, well, not on the field, but like in the staging area or the chrono range, somewhere where it's controlled and you can actually fine tune it to how you want it to be. This is very important guys. If you want to adjust the sector gear for pre-cocking, read the manual. There's one right way to do it and a million wrong ways to do it. So refer to the manual before even breaking open the gun. Everyone is freaking out in the comment section because you see the split gearbox design and you think, oh, it's proprietary. No, the split gearbox can actually accept version two parts. Again, okay? You can change out the gear set, the compression set to whatever you want. You can even fit a aftermarket MOSFET like the Gate Titan or the Perrin Hybrid, okay? It can fit in there because modularity, but you're not gonna do any of that because it's perfect the way it is. Some of you guys might be wondering how solid the Arcturus Cat M4 is with the split gearbox design. And it's actually really solid. There's no play between the upper and lower receiver. So the split gearbox design doesn't really do much. And how it locks into the lower receiver, it's solid. Like there's nothing wrong with it. Not KWA solid. Boys, we're not talking about KWA, okay? Well, torture test it. Let's find out. This is the sample model. We can't touch it as this one. One additional note is that our curse informed us that the piston is actually short stroke out of the box. So if you plan on changing out the compression set, you will need to short stroke the new piston, but you're not gonna do that because the gun shoots amazing out of the box. It's modular, but only for the aesthetic. In typical Arcturus fashion, they give you three Amazon packages worth of goodies out of the box. As I said earlier, you do get the extra stock attachments, the mock bullet tool, 
their mid cap magazine which can be adjusted to 30 rounds or 130 rounds the manual what else we got we got oh a nice black flash hider that's metal the tamiya battery adapter that because the gun is wired to dean's already all right what we got here some allen keys to help take down the gun what is uh, ow <laughs> the cleaning unjamming rod should come with every airsoft gun what is this uh, a coaster to let your guests know that you run arcturus what is this a fridge magnet to let your family know that you run arcturus the oh god these shiny stickers to let the world know that you've run arcturus why is there so much stuff and oh probably one of the best things that come out of the box is the qc certificate this is actually a certificate that is checked by a person to let you know that your airsoft gun passed quality control so you can see what the gun chronoed out uh, right before it got packaged up and it passed all the qc you wouldn't see this if the gun didn't pass qc so good on you arcturus for including that i think other companies should start doing that to let us know that your gun is actually good the arcturus legend cat m4 is chronoing in at about 355 to 360 fps with 8.20 gram bb and a rate of fire of about 20 bbs per second with an 11.1 lipo it's time to do, 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 do. shoot this thing i'm gonna get bbs please thank you all right guys we're out here at the range in a wind tunnel right now it's so damn windy and so damn cold but we're here to test out the new arcturus cat m4 we have a target set up uh what do you say like 150 -ish no it's like 250 Two? really yeah it's like this is pretty uh, long range i guess but uh we have the gun loaded up and uh, uh adjusted the hop up with 0 0.30 gram bbs uh there is a very heavy headwind so we are trying to compensate for that a little bit i have an 11 one lipo in here and let's just give it a few test shots shall we Okay. Oh, hold on. Yo, the trigger response out of the box is crazy. So we are over hopping a little bit. Again, there is a very heavy headwind. So we are trying to compensate for that. But, oh, you are getting out on the target. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, you can easily get out there. The wind is playing a very big factor. Let me check the rate of fire. Oh yes. Oh, oh it's, so, it's so bad. Okay, time to reload. This is actually pretty damn good, I gotta say. The 24K motor uh, with the micro switch trigger just give a very tactile response for semi. It's just, you can shoot this gun so easy. Just bounce off of the off of the micro switch. Makes it so much easier. Again, full auto. <laughs> oh yeah, very helpful indeed. And the fact that we are shooting, uh, it's chronoing in at about 350 to 360 FPS with uh, with the 2 gram BB. And again, we're running three O's. It's still getting that like 200-ish feet range pretty damn well. All right, guys, I'm going to be real with you. It's really windy out here. And with the gun shooting around 350 to 360 FPS out of the box, it's made for CQB. If you want to take it uh, to an outdoor field to shoot longer ranges, you will probably need to throw in a heavier spring, even though we just showed that it can get out to that 200, 250 feet range. But we have moved closer to about 150 feet from the target. This is about the maximum distance that you would uh, engage a target in a CQB environment, which the gun is made for. So we're just going to take a few shots. Oh yeah, it's so easy. It gets there, no problem. Easy, that full auto. <laughs> I think he called this hit. Now with all of that being said and done, what does the Legend Cat M4 cost? The Arcturus Legend Cat M4 retails for $389 at airsoftjet.com, which gives you automatic free shipping and rewards points with the Wombo Combo. $389 for everything in the Cat M4. That's $20 more than Crytek. That's $20 more than Crytek. This is so loaded out of the box. I don't know what I'm supposed to say. This is $20 more than Crytek. This is a crazy deal. This is so loaded out of the box. I don't know what to say. Let's end the video. Guys, uh, thank you for watching. Subscribe for more content. Give us a thumbs up. Uh, let us know what you think about the Cat M4 in the comments below and pick yours up at airsoftjad.com. $20 more than a cry tap. This is ridiculous.